Hey y'all, I'm Hope and today I want to talk about all of the arcs I have on my to read list. I don't have very many. I haven't had like a lot of arc requests granted but I have a few and I've gotten quite behind on them. I have several that have already come out now but I just want to put together this list to kind of help myself stay accountable for reading these, remind myself like what's actually on this list, and also find out if there's any of these that you guys are like particularly interested in hearing me talk about or if there's any that like you've been kind of waiting to see if anybody has read them and kind of reviewed them because there's a few of these that I noticed have come out that I have not heard much of anybody to talk about. But yeah, it's always good I think to kind of bring things back to the top of my mind because otherwise I will forget them. Um, but first I actually have one physical arc to talk about and I think this is also the oldest arc. Um, this is Light from Uncommon Stars by Araka Aoki which I got this one in a giveaway like I want to say it was like in 2021 and I got it just like a few months before it came out. So I'm very behind on this. I have seen a few reviews of this one, but this one is following these three different women whose lives become entangled and it's all set in California, but there is a violin teacher who sold her soul in a Faustian bargain and if she can get one more person to sell their soul, she'll be freed. There is also a young trans woman who has run away from home and also is a violinist. And then there is also a space alien who runs a donut shop. And it's these three women whose lives get tangled together and it's about, I think, like family and hope and um love and, and it's I've heard that it's kind of generally a hopeful warm book even though it tackles some pretty heavy topics so I'm really interested to see how the author is going to pull all those disparate pieces together because it sounds like there's kind of a lot going on here there's some supernatural elements there's some sci-fi elements there's obviously some pretty heavy elements there so I'm really curious to see how the author is going to bring all of these different pieces together but I'm very excited for this the rest of these are all ebooks I got from NetGalley and I'm going to go in chronological order from when they came out or when they're going to come out. And the oldest one I have here is The Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu, which actually came out August of last year. Um, this one was interesting because I just got this one recently. It came out last year, but I had like clicked a wish for it because I think when I went to request it, it wasn't actually available for request. And I got an email like a few weeks ago that was like, hey, your wish has been granted. And I was like, I don't remember requesting this at all. But it's been out for more than a year now. So I think that's interesting that it came through all of a sudden now. I think the second book is coming out later this year. So if I can get to this, it would be a good opportunity to go ahead and read it before that book comes out. But this one is the beginning of the War Art Saga. And I believe this is a supposed to be an inversion of the Chosen One trope. There's like a young man who is the Chosen One, but he's kind of become a spoiled brat and he is kind of, <laughs> he's being whipped back into shape by a an older, kind of middle-aged warrior woman who's kind of over his shit. And I think that sounds like it's going to be really fun. And I know that uh, I like stories that kind of play with the chosen one trope. I don't typically like a chosen one trope just like normally, but I like stories that kind of take that and try to invert it or play with it in some way. So I'm really curious about this one. And I think it could be a lot of fun. I think it's got a little bit of adventure in it too. So that could be cool too. Next up I have The Things We Do To Our Friends by Heather Darwin, which came out on the 10th of January of this year. And this one is one I know very little about. It's a dark academia story about a young woman who gets involved with this kind of odd group of friends at a university in Edinburgh and she is hiding some sort of major secret from her past and this relationship with these other young people is pulling that secret out into the light. That's all I know. I suspect this is one where you're kind of intended to go in blind but I really don't know any more than that and I don't know what to expect from this one. I think I requested this because I liked the cover and I was also kind of pulling together some ideas for a dark academia project I wanted to do. I am not actually working on one. Whether that's going to go up anytime soon or not, I don't know. Um, but I am working on something and I expect probably I'll read this for that project. But it does sound like it could be interesting and again the cover was really pretty. So not sure what to expect here but I think it could be an interesting read. Next up I have The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett which is her second book and this one I actually have mixed feelings on because I did start it. I read about 30% but I loved the appeal so I was very excited for The Twyford Code and I was really excited when I got the arc and then I started reading it and I was just not vibing with this one. I think that I wasn't totally getting the formatting for this one so if you are familiar with the appeal, the appeal um, or not familiar with the appeal I should say, it's all told through like emails that are sent between this like theater group. So the Twyford Code is also a kind of mixed media thing but this one is doing something where the book is written as transcripts 
from um, audio files found on the main character's iPhone. And the setup is that he has gone missing and they have found his iPhone and they, the police have like transcribed all of the audio recordings on it and discovered that he was investigating the disappearance of one of his school teachers from when he was a child. And he thinks that her disappearance is connected to a book that he found when he was a kid. And in the intervening time, he's been in prison. So he's kind of like readjusting to outside life as well. So I think it's a really interesting premise and I did actually really like the main character. I thought he was really charming, but I was just not totally getting what the audio transcript format was adding to the story. And I, I was just really struggling to get through this, but this may also be a me thing because I was also starting a master's program. I was kind of in the end of my first semester, starting my second semester when I was reading this. And I think it was just not a good time for me to be picking this up and I just didn't have the capacity to read it at that time. So I think this very much could be a me thing and I might like it better if I go back and restart and try again. So I do want to give this book a second chance, especially because I love the appeal so much and I'm very excited for Janice Hallett's next release, which is also going to be mixed media, but I think is like, is other than being like a single media for the whole book, it's going to be like a bunch of different things. So I'm really excited for that one and I want to give this one a second chance. Okay, these last two are actually books that are not out yet. These both come out early next year. And the first one is A Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett, who is the author of the Foundry Side series, I believe. And that one's a series that I've never been interested in, but this one sounded just too fun to pass up. It is the beginning of a series called Shadow of the Leviathan, but this one is a fantasy murder mystery set in kind of a secondary fantasy world. But it's about this guy who dies when a tree erupts out of his body and he is, it's apparently a murder, and the death is being investigated by this eccentric woman who is a detective who never leaves her house and she wears a blindfold all the time. And somehow she's able to like solve mysteries without ever leaving her house or seeing the crime scene. And I'm really interested to see how that's gonna be pulled off. I think that's a really fun premise. This is also a kind of Holmes and Watson-esque dynamic and the story I believe is told by her younger assistant who was like just started working for her. So he's kind of off put by how eccentric she is, but it's about like, them working together to solve this like very strange mystery. And I just think that sounds like so much fun and I'm always a sucker for like a Holmes and Watson dynamic. I love that kind of dynamic in a book. So I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait to get to this one. Although I am kind of putting it off until it's a little closer to its release date. And then this very last one I have to talk about is To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods by Molly X. Chang, which is the first book in the To Gaze Upon Wicked Gods series. And this is a YA fantasy series following a young woman who her country was taken over at some point by these, I think it, it said like invaders from heaven in the description. So some sort of group has come in and invaded her country and she hates her oppressors and she wants to fight back against them. But she also like very deeply cares about her family and is trying to protect them. And so she's approached by the enemy prince to become his assassin because she has the ability to pull life out of mortal bodies. And he offers her this position as his assassin saying that he'll protect her family and take care of them if she does this for him. And that the people he aims to kill will ultimately benefit both himself and her kind of motives of um, both protecting her family and kind of wanting to save her country. And so she's not really sure whether to believe him, but she's put in this position where she has to make a choice. And there's also this additional wrinkle that her magic is taking years off of her own life. So I think there's a lot of really interesting sounding elements there and I'm curious to see how this magic system is going to work. But I'm especially interested in the like questions that this book seems to be raising around like family and loyalty. And um, I, I just think it's gonna be like a really interesting project. I'm curious to see how the author is going to approach it. So those are all of the arcs that I have. And I would love to know down in the comments down below if they if you've read any of these, particularly for ones that like I haven't heard very many people talk about at all. So I'd love to know your opinions on any of these that you have read. And I think that is pretty much all I have for you today. I do really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I hope you consider you giving it a like and maybe even subscribing to see what comes next. I'm currently posting every Tuesday and Saturday, so there is more content coming soon. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.